Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Monday, December 11, 2023. 26 degrees at 9.33 a.m. and I'm your host, Vakamal. And I'm a sinner. And I'm a tired sinner. I'm so tired this morning I had to have coffee just to give me enough energy to have a cup of coffee. I did not feel rested at all. In fact, it feels like sleep actually made me more tired than I was. Got a lot of aches and pains this morning. Oh boy, I am powerless. Life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There's no reality but God. And the only thing we've got to do is die. So how are we going to live today? And I hope and I pray I can live from my heart a life based on faith and not fear. I'm sitting here with Brother Prince and Co-Star Bobby, Bobby Sullivan, Brother Prince and Co-Star Max, Mackie, Brother Prince and Co-Star Michael is in the living room on his favorite heat vent, Sister Princess and Co-Star Elsie is upstairs on the bed. We had approximately, well, 55 or 56 city chickens out there. They all took off and then they came back. There's a couple over on Smith's Roof and the rest are on the main line out there. They've been in to feed once, and now they're kind of hesitant to come in again. Oh boy, am I tired. Am I tired. I ain't doing nothing today, and as much of that as possible. I think we should probably jump right into a, a recap from yesterday. Originally, I had planned to go see Cousin, cousin Paul in a Lanson, and... Uh, I got a text early in the morning from my accomplice, Glenn, who was going to come with me that said he had to cancel out. And uh, he got yes dear by the wife. Yes, dear! Yes, dear! So sad. But anyway. And I got a late start, and after thinking about things, and by the time I got out of here and drove over to see Paul and hang with him for a bit, I would have only been able to stay there for an hour or two and then I would have had to come back or I'd have been driving home in the dark and I don't do well doing that. And I just didn't want to drive alone. So I ended up yammering with Paul for almost two hours on the phone yesterday morning. And uh, city chickens are moving in. And that was good. And after that I did get out and have some lunch. I had some soup I conjured the day before and went over to Devil's Lake and shot off a box of 38 specials and some 22s and let loose with some 9mm. Although it was fun, it was cold. It was windy. It wasn't so much the cold, but it was quite windy. And I said, you know what, I'm going home and I'm hanging out with the Karens. So that's what I did. Stopped at Culver's and got myself a fish and chips dinner, the two-piece. Got turned on to that by my brother and his family when they were here this summer from Illinois. Very good fish. Fresh battered cod. It's not some pre-packaged frozen uh, fish-shaped patty, you know. And uh, it was good. Really good. Hung out with the cats. Uh, read to them. Did a crossword puzzle. Watched the movie Father Goose again. Watched part of an episode of the TV show Endeavor and then fell asleep watching an Akira Kurosawa movie called Stray Dog. Came out in 1949. I'm a big fan of Kurosawa. Most of the city chickens have moved to the service line. So anyway, here we are. We are going to have 8 hours and 53 minutes of daylight today. Tomorrow we are going to have 49 seconds less daylight than we did today. Oh boy, man. It's been what? Over four months. Sammy's been on my mind all morning. I think I even had a dream about Samuel. I miss that little guy so bad. And I am still, I will forever be stunned at how quickly, 
how well he hid how, how he was sick and how quickly he went downhill and there was nothing I could do to save him. I tried and I tried and I'm not really beating myself up over it. I did what I could. He had some dental work done in just uh, April in the, this past year. His blood, his well, blood work was good. His appetite, you know, he had a few usual things, unusual things happening here and there, like he'd vomit occasionally and whatnot, but there'd usually be a hairball or something, and, and I just didn't see the signs that he was letting out. I mean, they were signs after the fact, you can see that, but between his appetite, his activity, and everything that you know, everything else, he just, he gave no indication to me that he was sick. I miss the little guy and I always will. And I've said it before, I'll say it again to the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis. It aged me and broke me, losing him. It hit me harder than any of the sweethearts I've shared this life in this home with, or whatever home. So anyway, on tap for today, I really don't have a whole lot on my list of to-dos. I think I might, I got I don't know if I need to clean a couple guns. I probably should. Oh, city chickens are raining down. They are raining down, snowing down, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my shoulder's hurting pretty bad, my lower back, my lungs. Had some nausea again. But yeah, I'm just struggling just to keep my eyes open. Might have to get into the espresso early today. Oh, and I did forget, I did do a, quite a bit of domestic chores yesterday. Did a lot of vacuuming and things like that. Got some laundry done. Usual everyday maintenance around here. I can't remember if I said I had a bad hair day, ergo the bandana on my head. All right, we're going to take a break. Welcome back, and I don't mean that one little bit. Didn't mean it when I said good morning. City chickens are back feeding. It's windy and cold looking out there, and I forgot to mention, we did get some light snow out there last night and this morning. And I'm starting to feel like I'm, you know, on the verge of waking up. Maybe a couple of shots of espresso will do it. But I really don't have a whole lot of ambition today, and I don't even know if I'm going to get out. Look at them city chickens coming in. A lot of them coming from across the street at Neighbor Tom's. Going to be a good day to have some cold, thin, watery gruel for breakfast. Nothing sets the tone of a day Better than having cold, thin, watery gruel on a cold, windy Monday morning with a bad hair day. David Copperfield. May I have some more gruel, please? <laughs> oh, boy. What are you thinking, Sully? What are we going to do today? In fact, I, I brought some Q-tips. He's got some issues with his ears, and we've got to clean his ears out and put some of that stuff in them. we got to put some of that stuff in them. Well, we're back to close, and if you're still here, you're a glutton for punishment. You got anything to add, Sully? Bobby? Oh, Bobby. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, crack, shattered, hopeless, forlaken, forsaken, forlorn, bitter, angry, and tired soul, piss off, happy Monday, and thanks for not tuning in.